So who is at the Sydney Mini Maker Fair this year? Find out in this video. So last weekend was the Sydney Mini Maker Fair. I had an absolute blast. I met a lot of cool makers and bumped into quite a lot of people you may know. Whoa, what are you doing, mate? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh Dave. It's Dave. It, is that Dave? Dave. Oh, Dave? Yeah, it is. Hey, Dave, Dave, mate. Good. Actually, Dave really couldn't help himself and kept on photo bombing, well, video bombing a lot of my interviews. Basically, just good. <laughs> oh, look. Uh, photo bomb. Sorry, photo sorry. Bomb. He's, sorry. Al he's allowed to turn up a day. I, I, I feel small. Everyone says I'm small. I'm average. Thank you very much. I'm like five foot eight, nine, five foot nine. <laughs> sorry, I've watched enough, enough of I've watched enough of these videos. <laughs> there he is. But it was great to finally meet Dave in person, and we had a really long chat about being a YouTuber, the ups and downs. And he gave me some really great advice. The mad genius Gavin Smith from Robots and Dinosaurs who gave an excellent talk on how to make anything, which wasn't really long enough. Steve Martin, who has a company called Botbits and also heads up Robo Wars Australia. The Robo Wars Nationals are on down in Canberra next weekend as part of the Big Boys Toys exhibition. I'd like to go, but I'll see what happens. I met up with Meow from the Biohack team who had some excellent stuff to show off. These guys are essentially doing to nature what electronics guys do to electronics. The Create team from the University of New South Wales, who showed off their entry into the medical UAV competition, auto tracking, aerial, and other cool stuff. The Osbury guys were there showing off all their creations in IoT, LED control, and two old makers who banded together and made a lift. The Australian Electric Vehicle Association guys were there showing us just how easy it is to convert your car to electric. Robohouse was there in full force, showing off different ways of controlling robotics, using vision, movement and muscle activation sensors. Mark Boyle was there from Tinkering Evolution, getting up to his old tricks. This was very popular with the kids. Dev from Aaron Blocks was showing off his pre-Kickstarter Lego type blocks that can hold a fair amount of weight. The Innovators Club was there with a couple of their products that they created and showing how easy it is to do the same. Open ROV had a great open source underwater UAV, which of course they weren't able to show off underwater, but I plan to visit their site later on and video it in action. Little Bird Electronics was there showcasing what you could do with a bucket of sand, Microsoft Connects and a projector, which was the most popular exhibit. Ben from ModFab had set up some classes on 3D printing that you could attend. Core Electronics showed what you could make with a 3D printer, like the cool marble track. Bitscope had their full range of test and measurement equipment on display, which was aimed at entry level maker through to pro maker and commercial equipment. MATLAB was there showing all the great things they're doing for makers these days. Makerspace and Co just seem to be doing it all and were showcasing some fantastic projects that have come out of their headquarters. Mobile Makerspace have a great concept of bringing a makerspace to schools without one. Moving into the 3D printing and scanning, we had Angus from Makers Muse, who has really become the go-to person when it comes to 3D printing information. The fairly new company, Bilby 3D, were showing off their excellent 3D printer and what you could make with it. The Aurora 3D guys had their cool phone-based scanner, which was a recent Kickstarter. 3D Tech had their cool CNC machines aimed at beginners to pro makers. Hmm, I really need one of these. Sam from Technology Education had a really cool desktop robotic arm that can be built from a 3D printer. I went around filming interviews of everyone there, so stay tuned as I upload all the videos. I also took along this snazzy 360 degree camera and built a gimbal for it and stuck it up in the air so I could take you on a guided tour of the whole place. My poor old Mac is having trouble churning through all that video so it might be a bit later this week. So basically, it was a fantastic weekend. I was completely knackered at the end of it all and slept like a baby that night. So stay tuned for a bucket load of videos being uploaded. See you next time. Here I am at the pack up of the Sydney Mini Maker Fair. And I think I might have damaged something.
Don't tell Daniel Green I did that, okay? <laughs>